Hey guys, what's up? Toba Loco here. Welcome back to our 2014 qualifying run with Georgia. We are in part two, but technically it's the start of qualifying because obviously the first part is just the friendlies. And if you watch the first part, you'll know that the friendlies were really turbulent. Um, you know, we beat Spain 3-0. Spoiler alert, by the way. But the other matches we dropped those matches and lost them so Georgia are in a group let me just remind you like this we are in a group with Bulgaria Bosnia Faroe Islands Iceland and Lithuania it's not too hard on paper um, maybe for you know a better team but Georgia are the same rating as most of those nations and um, it's gonna be a very tight group so if we're beating Spain like 3-0, then that's like fantastic because obviously we can probably beat most of these sides on that kind of form. But the other friendly matches, like I said, when we dropped them, it was kind of like, oh, okay, maybe we can't beat these sides. So we're going to do the first round, the first sort of half of qualifying in this video to see how Georgia can get on in a competitive situation. And our first match is going to be against Lithuania away from home. A good test in a qualifying match because Lithuania are rated pretty much exactly the same as Georgia. And um, I'm sure that it will be a very hard match. We can't let the Spain result from the last video get to our heads too much. We need to kind of be humble a little bit more and um, just take each game just like a baby step sort of thing and get Georgia over the line. It's going to be a tougher group than I expected, I think. A lot of these teams are going to play quite defensively, I feel. Um, especially Lithuania here in this first match. Um, they're tackling me quite a lot in these first 12 minutes. You know, there's no clear winner. I would say that Bosnia are the strongest team in the group because obviously 2014 Bosnia is one of the better versions of Bosnia in recent years. But, um, you know, other than that, I think everybody else is um, up for grabs, really. Every time I go li near Lithuania, it's a foul. Like, I think this ref is Lithuanian or something. They might have, like, picked the wrong referee. Keeper, that was a terrible ball. And yes, come on. And uh, Dev Verdani has scored to make it 1-0. I don't know what Lithuania were doing at the back. The goalkeeper failed to clear it. That happens a lot on this game, for me at least. I don't know why. You know, I'm playing on world class, you know, which is a not the highest difficulty, but still a decent difficulty. And goalkeepers just sometimes clear like that. I mean, I know Lithuania aren't the best teams, but it always seems to be the smaller teams that can't really seem to clear the ball. And I always kind of profit off of that. It's half time and Georgia are leading by one goal to nil, thanks to the goalkeeping error by Lithuania. And um, if we can hold on, that'll be great. Defensively, we've been good in this match, not allowing Lithuania too much. We probably should have scored that chance as well to make it 2-0. But overall, it's okay. Okay, Lithuania got it into the middle. And a oh, good save there. I failed to tackle him, but it's okay. The goalkeeper managed to save our skins there. Apart from the goal that we got, which was through a mistake, Lithuania have been really good defensively, not allowing Georgia to go through too many times. And that is going to be it. It's 1-0 to Georgia in the first qualifying match. And um, decent little victory to get us on the road to qualification. Our second match of the qualifying campaign is at home and we are against Iceland for this one. A team that, again, they are a three-star team, but we still got to be careful, Iceland. This was just before they qualify for Euro 2016, obviously, this sort of campaign. And um, you know what? They probably still had some of the same players from that time as well. Obviously, just... Uh, little bit unrefined to compared to 2016 when they shocked the whole of Europe to beat England in um, <laughs> one of the matches. I think it was the quarterfinals, wasn't it? Um, so yeah, um, embarrassing for us English, but really incredible for Iceland. Come on, Devadani. Go for it. Oh, just wide. Come on. Like, maybe should have gone in I mean that was a bit unlucky most of these games that we're going to have in this group are going to be settled by like maybe one goal or something especially 
the ones that we're playing with here with Georgia. I don't know about the other competitors, but yeah, um, these games that we're playing will definitely be settled by like one goal, I think. And most of the time, it'll probably be lucky goals as well, because Iceland are playing quite well here. Lithuania played well in the last match. Very unfortunate to lose the way they did. But um, yeah, like I said, most of these nations in this group are almost the same rating, apart from Bosnia and obviously the Faroe Islands as well being the minnow. They go for the strike, it's blocked. Computers really trying to go for it from distance in this um, video so far. <laughs> Lithuania did it and Iceland have done it, uh, I think, twice now. So yeah, we got to watch out for the long shots. Oh, look at that for a ball. And Georgia, oh, unlucky. That's a good ball. Here comes Georgia. Into the box. And, oh, I thought it went in because it, like, touched the side netting as it just went past the post. The way it, like, rippled off the side netting, I thought it went in. Go on. This is a good ball. And finally, Georgia make the breakthrough. And that is 1-0. Good ball. Iceland defence kind of split a little bit. But then we found that little gap. That little gap that we needed. And um, we had time to shoot. And Georgia are 1-0 up against Iceland. Don't be surprised if it remains 1-0. Because um, it's been quite a tough game up until now. I think this Iceland team almost made it to 2014, right? I think, didn't Croatia bounce them out of the... Uh, oh no, maybe I'm thinking about um, another World Cup, possibly. I don't know. Especially with Georgia, you know, every... Oh, no, 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 oh, no, oh, we, we gave that away, that was so dumb, that was so dumb, and Povardsen has scored to make it 1-1, that was dumb, that was really, really dumb, like, I tried to play it out the back, and yeah, they intercepted it, goalkeeper did save it, but it just bounced in, and Icelander level, great, okay, we got it back, shot, oh, the Icelandic keeper just saves, Iceland's bacon there. That was actually going to go in, I think, from uh, number 10 there. It looked like it was going to go in. I can't believe we threw this game away. The shots we've had, we should have done better. Into the box. Oh, please get that on target, man. You were right there. Look. Oh, <laughs> I think we've thrown this one away. Definitely. A stinky kind of result, really, from Georgia. Go on. Oh my goodness! Oh, we don't deserve to win this game. The shooting has been dreadful to the max. Absolutely dreadful. I mean, the defending at the end didn't help at all. The mistake and everything. But that shooting has cost us dearly in this match. Absolutely cost us dearly. I'm in ultra attacking. That's why I'm getting forward quite a lot. I think Iceland don't really know what's going on too much. But yeah... Um, the shooting has been awful for us. We're going to go for it. And again, saved. Header. And again, another poor header. And it's going to end here. 1-1 between Georgia and Iceland. Not bad, but we threw it away. And I'm really annoyed that I threw it away. Our third match of qualifying is away from home against Bulgaria. And look at all those Bulgarian flags there in the background. This is going to be a really tough match because Bulgaria are currently joint top of the group alongside Bosnia and myself as well. It's still early days, only two games played, but it's still going to be tough. We just need to be more clinical, please. Through ball, through the middle. And, oh, that was really unlucky. I almost lost the defender and got it past the goalkeeper in one movement. When do we get to play the Faroe Islands, please? <laughs> I know that the Faroe Islands are still going to be super defensive, of course. Um, but hopefully that will be a nice little three points for us. That's a through ball. I'm disconnected from Xbox Live and it's just blocked there. I blame that. But hang on. Yes, it's in and Davali Shili has scored, or however you say, to make it 1-0. The Xbox Live thing kind of messed me up a little bit. I was like, what am I getting a notification for? It was a nice little uh, tap in there from the deflection and Georgia get lucky again. It is 1-0 to Georgia. So we can score goals. I just want to score more goals. Georgia. Oh, wide from Georgia there. And I think it's going to be half-time. And again, just... Like, we have scored, and I'm happy with that. But just the other chances we're having aren't really good enough. It's kind of feeling like we get the one goal, and then Georgia just can't score anymore. 
And I don't mind getting one nils all the time, but it would be nice just to get more, just to make it slightly more entertaining. Twisting and turning, and the shot is saved again. Uh, that wasn't really George's fault. The goalkeeper's just on one at the moment. So, yeah, again, though, we've had a ton of shots, and yet we still can't get more goals. And I'd like to just uh, get more, just in case we get another situation like we did against Iceland, where we're 1-0 up for most of the match, and then we throw it away. Threw it away by Bulgaria again. It's just been the same old story we just keep pushing forward and then bulgaria just locked down it's yeah it's a bit boring but however we're still pressing and looking for this second goal and that's gonna be it i'm afraid it's just a one nil i mean it's a good result because we bounce back from the iceland result and get another win however it was a really tame and boring game and um, I do apologise for that. Sometimes teams don't really score many goals. And the situation we're in and, and the group we're in as well, I don't think it's going to allow us to do that. Because like I said, most of the teams around us are exactly the same rating. Our next match then is going to be against the Faroe Islands. We are at home for this one. And this shouldn't be too much of a task. However... Some of these minnows do set up very defensively and Georgia have had a hard time to score. So it could be a potential banana skin for the campaign. However, if we win, then we'll still remain top of the group, which is fantastic for Georgia. I know that this game's going to be super frustrating. Like every time I go near the Faroe Islands, um, the referee symbol comes up. It's going to be one of those matches. Twisting and turning here, trying to find a way through. And the shot hits the bar. That was a bit of a weird shot. And um, it's just showing the type of game that this is at the moment. Just one of those frustrating matches that um, you know it's always like this. We have it in Oceania like all the time with the minnows. And now I'm getting it here with uh, Georgia. Crossed in and of course it goes straight to the keeper. Not a good showing from Georgia in the first like 38 minutes. Nearly half time we have done nothing really like every single minnow we play on this game the Faroe Islands have been very frustrating and um you know we've gotten a little unlucky with our shots but Georgia should be beating a side like this really on paper taken away by Georgia and there is a chance and it goes wide I mean some of the shooting in this whole campaign has been absolutely horrific taken away by Georgia is there a chance? No, there isn't because we have a massive shooting problem. We cannot hit the target. It's just going to cost us dearly in this match. The Faroe Islands have gotten so lucky here with like some of these plays. Georgia should have buried some of them. Poked into the box and it's blocked. And I don't know what happened there with the other striker. We can't tackle the Faroes. We can't do anything. It feels like we're absolutely useless go on yes come on it rolls in and uh machesle or oh, however you say it <laughs> i'm terrible with my names i'm sorry machedlitse has scored to make it one nil and it was a late goal but but man don't take it away from the Faroe islands they played really well in that match super frustrating they almost came away with a really good draw but Georgia in that match, again, it just shows we have a massive problem with our attackers in terms of shooting. And even the midfield in this match was really awful in terms of, like, just trying to link up plays and stuff. We struggled massively. And that's going to be it. Another 1-0. I'm not happy with that one, really. Really not happy. It was very frustrating experience. However, it is still three points, but we should have won by more. So our fifth match of this group, again, is against Bulgaria. So I'm guessing in the next video, we'll have to play Bosnia twice, which is fine. Try and extend our lead at the top of the table with Georgia. I think the table's going to come up now. So Georgia are top, but only two points. But there's quite a big gap between them and Lithuania, who are sat in third. So as long as we keep pushing on, then... We can either guarantee playoffs or guarantee the automatics, which is great. That's a good ball into the box here. And that is 1-0 to Bulgaria. Stoyanov has scored to make it 1-0 to Bulgaria. 
And uh, Georgia's defense just kind of collapsed on that one. Okay, we've got some work to do. Good ball over the top. It really caught me off guard. And um, yeah, Georgia 1-0 down. For the first time in this campaign, we go 1-0 down. Taken away there. And it's a goal by Georgia. I don't know what Bulgaria were doing. But Anne has scored to make it 1-1 now. So Georgia are back level. Great goal, and um, hopefully we can get another goal to potentially be the winner. I don't know what they were doing at the back there, playing it from the back like I was trying to do with Iceland uh, in the Iceland game, but it cost them. It does cost you if you can't get rid of the ball. Sometimes the computer's like that. It's very indecisive with the ball, and then other times it's just, like, insane. Like, it'll literally just run rings around you. He goes for the strike, and it's caught... Okay, well, another case of Georgia getting one goal and then seemingly not being able, physically able, to get a second. Not at the moment, anyway. And it's been like that for most of this campaign. Into the box. And there we go. Finally, we got the second. And Kenya has scored. That was a really good move to make it 2-1 to Georgia. Just look at this. Look, into the box. I spotted him. And I smashed it in to make it 2-1. Okay, now we've got a decent game on our hands. Finally, a game with multiple goals. Crossed in by Bulgaria. Headed. And it's caught. That's another... Chance for Bulgaria again with the ball into the box. Almost caught me out again. So Georgia seemed vulnerable from that kind of attack. Just boot it away. I don't even care at this point. It's fine. And uh, Georgia will be walking away with a 2-1 victory here over Bulgaria. Another win for Georgia. And that's great. We are actually unbeaten in this campaign. Despite the fact that Georgia have struggled offensively to, you know, score goals and stuff. Defensively, they've been okay, apart from that one instance against Iceland. But, yeah, no major complaints yet. I just want more goals. All right, then. So these are the groups for UEFA in the qualifying round. And just to direct your attention to our group in Group G, it's looking good for Georgia. We have 13 points after five games played. Bosnia are just behind us by two points, so they have 11, and Iceland have seven. Other than that, I think we're pretty good. If we can just beat Iceland and knock them back in the next video, then I think we'll be okay. Of course, we've got two matches to play against Bosnia as well, which will be really crucial to our campaign, but it's looking really good for Georgia. Any other groups that have some shocks or anything like that, it all seems pretty standard at the moment. Group D is pretty close between Norway, Russia, Slovenia and Albania. Going for a massive four horse race there for first place. And in Group E, Croatia are winning that one. But between Slovakia and Liechtenstein, it's all to play for. That's really, really cool. And just to direct your attention to OFC, Tahiti are currently leading the charge in that final group. Um, because if they win that group, they'll go to the uh, the playoff sort of thing, the inter-confederation playoff. So I'm hoping Tahiti can make it. That would be awesome. However, they've still got maybe one or two games to play. So New Zealand are hot on their tail. And that is going to be it for your Georgia qualifying video. Your first qualification part, but your second part, if you get what I mean, in the series. I hope you guys really enjoyed this one. Hopefully in the next one, Georgia can score more goals and keep up their good form. If you did enjoy this one, then give it a like and subscribe. Keep it local as always, and I'll see you again for the next video.